This is a prayer for all of the fathers, the single fathers, the married fathers, the lonely fathers, the ones that are confused, the spiritual fathers over many. This is a prayer for all the fathers out there. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may he cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift you up and be a shield of favor, prosperity, and promotion in all of your ways. I speak life into you. I prophesy that you are not alone. Even fathers need love. Even fathers need affirmation. In fact, fathers are just mere human beings as well as imperfect as frail and fragile we are i pray that fathers would be strengthened by the power of the holy spirit i pray today for all of the fathers that they will be ignited by the fear of the lord that they will be like jesus the servant of all the king and the god of love I pray for all of the single fathers that feel alone, that feel stressed and anxious. For Jesus says, fear not, do not be anxious, in all things give thanks unto me. Father God, I pray for all of the fathers that are listening, watching now, that you would lift up their hands. Like Joshua and Aaron, they lifted up the very hands and the arms of Moses. God, I thank you that there is a next generation here to honor the fathers and the mothers. Lord, I thank you for many that are coming afterwards. For it says in the book of Isaiah 40 that you will be astounded at how many are coming to and fro to you. The children that you have born in the spirit. You do not know the impact that you have made. You do not know how far your words have gone. Lord, anoint the mouths and the lips and the tongues of these fathers. I pray that every word that they say and speak would be like perfume, would be like a sweet fragrance would be life-giving. God, I thank you that you are warming and touching the hearts of each and every dad. As alone and stressed we may feel and be, at times we may feel overwhelmed. God, I thank you that you are their father and you carry them and you bear their weaknesses and your strength makes them great. God, I pray for grace. God, I pray for mercy. I pray for all the fathers that are around the world. Keep standing. Keep walking. Keep providing. Keep working hard. Even though your own children and your own wife may misunderstand you and ridicule you, the Lord says, I am with you and I am cheering you on. God, I pray for the mind and the wisdom of Christ Jesus to be imparted to every dad. Oh, man of God, rise up in strength and in valor. Oh, man of God, rise up. I pray for double portion sons and daughters. I pray for double portion children. God, I thank you that double honor is being restored to every father. He is lifting up your head. He is restoring honor and dignity. He is giving you the respect. Father, I thank you that each father that is listening here and that we are praying for and we are calling into being and manifestation. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, let a baptism of love, let the identity of Jesus Christ, let it come over them and come upon them. 
God, I thank you that you are their provider. You are their foundation. You are their strength. And it does not matter what kind or type of father you had or have right now. What matters most is that you are loved by our Heavenly Father, our good God. He created you. He bore you on this planet Earth. He released a seed of the Spirit of God so that you may be alive today. Lord, I pray for every father in this time, in this Father's Day, wherever they're listening, watching from. I speak life. I speak hope. I speak courage. I speak destiny. I thank you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I thank you that every tongue that tries to accuse you and tear you down will be condemned now. God, I pray for a fiery head of protection all around the dads, all around the fathers right now. Lord, I pray that you will soften and melt in their hearts. Give them a new heart of love. Give them a spirit of gentleness. Give them a spirit of humility and service. To all the fathers that feel like a failure. To all the fathers that feel like you are not amounting to anything good. God, I break off those lies. And I speak hope and courage. Jesus, I thank you for these great men of God, for these great fathers. I pray that you would be a patriarch of the faith. That you would be somebody who releases generational blessings unto many and unto others and so many generations to come. Let a hand of protection come upon their minds, their hearts, their lips, their eyes. Let a hand of protection come upon their marriages and their families. God, I pray, release angels to protect this holy covenant. God, I pray, that their marriage would be an example. God, I pray that these men, these fathers, these fathers of the faith would be like Abraham. God, I pray that as these fathers of the faith will live such an, a life and an example that would cause others to be jealous and would cause others to fall. God, I thank you that it is not too late. God says, Fathers, men of God, it is not too late for you. I am taking away your stubbornness. I am taking away your hard heart. And I am causing a change and a new creation to be born within you. Just surrender to me. Just walk with me. Let me be your God. Let me be your father. Let me be the father of your children. Let me take care of your wife, your spouse, and your family. Put me first and watch me move. God, I pray for fathers of the faith. Even as Abraham, he left everything behind by faith. And you consider him to be righteous. Jesus, I thank you for these righteous fathers. Jesus, I thank you. For these fathers of the faith, these defender of widows, protector of the orphan. God, I thank you for your heart that is infused upon these fathers. To be a father in this fatherless generation. And God, I pray for the spirit of Elijah, according to the book of Malachi. May the heart of the father turn to the sons, and the heart of the son turn to the fathers. Lord, I pray for restoration. God, I pray for family miracles. God, I pray, would you renew first love? Renew the fire of your first love in these fathers. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. For God, our Father, rends the heavens and speaks over his son, Jesus. This is my son in whom I am well pleased with. God, I pray that the pleasure of your heart would be upon us all. 
I thank you, Lord, that you are blessing the fathers. You are helping the fathers. You are igniting the fathers. And these men of God belong to you. I pray for a generational blessing to the thousand generation to be upon you, your family, and your lineage. Be encouraged, Father. Be encouraged, men of God. I prophesy life. I prophesy hope. I prophesy courage. I prophesy destiny. The best is yet to come. It's only getting better. It's only getting stronger. May the love of God abound in your hearts and the word of truth reside within. God bless you, Father. Happy Father's Day. Your Heavenly Father in Heaven blesses you abundantly and your family. In Jesus' name, amen.